Hi, this is Dr. Harry Anderson. Today we're in Belton, Texas, visiting with Ronnie Marroquin of Andalusians of Texas. And uh, Ronnie and Carol Marroquin own and operate Andalusians of Texas. And Ronnie, good to see you. Now, what, what all disciplines do you train here uh, and compete with? Primarily, uh, Dr. Anderson, we are in the dressage area. That's the area that we focus in for our competition and our breeding and our sales. Well, Ronnie, uh, you've been feeding uh, Total Equine for quite a while now, and early on when you started feeding it, I think you had a couple of interesting uh, situations that came up that you tested it with. Would you tell me those stories? I'd be glad to share those stories with you. Um, we had two horses, one horse that had uh, EPM, and it, that horse had been diagnosed with EPM very, very recently at the time that I spoke to you all. And then we had another stallion that we just couldn't get uh, enough weight on. So we put both horses as an experiment and the horse with uh, EPM, who if you looked at the mare, looked like the mare was near death, uh, did a miraculous turnaround and was uh, healthy, walking, moving around, and essentially appeared to be normal. Uh, would it be available to look at and uh, visit with the trainer about how Cleopatra has changed? Yes, sir. And here's Deirdre Malberg, our trainer, Dr. Anderson. Deirdre, Hello. it's very good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I, I uh, understand you spend a lot of time here and do a very good job of training, and you have um, a story to tell about Cleopatra when you started feeding total equine. Would you relate that to us, please? Cleo was lame, and we did not know why, and she was losing a lot of weight. We brought her to the vet and found out that she had EPM, and they put her on a very, very expensive medicine, and we tried that for 16 days, and you know, it, it was showing some improvement, but there was no way we could afford to keep doing that medicine every 16 days, so they, by chance, came by and offered us to, uh, to put Cleopatra on total equine. And when we did that, she immediately, and 45 days was just a completely different horse. Uh, she's notoriously hard to catch in the pasture and she wasn't when she had EPM. And when we put her on this feed, it took three of us to corner her to catch her. So uh, we've kept her on the feed, we've kept her on the supplement and we've seen tremendous results. She's jumping again, she's doing dressage again. and. Soon she'll be on the Baylor equestrian team. Well, that, that's, a, that's a great story. Uh, so uh, she's going to be on the Baylor equestrian team even though she probably wasn't very usable at one point in time, is that correct? We could not ride her. She was, she's completely unstable under saddle. She couldn't even hold herself up. And um, we, were, we were afraid that we were gonna lose her. And I can't believe now that we can actually give her to somebody that is, is able to not only use her for pleasure and, and learning on, but they're gonna use her for major competition now. Well, Deirdre, do you have any other stories that uh, come to mind about changes you've seen in some of your horses? We have a mare, and the cutest mare in the world, but we call her the freight train that could. And she was just the little energizer bunny, couldn't tire her out, she was just running, running, running through me. Not dangerous, just quick. And um, when we put her on this feed, she slowed down, I've been showing her, and she's been getting extremely high scores in the dressage arena. And dressage is not fast. So this feed changed her mentality. Well, that's good to hear. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your, your using Totally Equine, <laughs> Deirdre. And good luck in the future, especially at the Baylor program. Thank you.